Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here at SD Fishing Sis. We're rolling in La Jolla Shores. Looks like we got Sea Samurai Kevin Nakata. That's his truck. I saw his sticker right there. He's one of the Grandmaster kayak fishermen. Yeah, he's lining somebody out right here for a guide service. So people have been asking about, I don't do guiding myself, but Kevin right here does Sea Samurai. He's been doing it for a long time. He's really, really good uh, fisherman. So you guys can look him up for fishing La Jolla out here off of the Hobies. And you always got Sand Dog also, which I think this is him right here. There he is. Now we got Sand Dog too. Double down. We got everybody in the house. <laughs> yeah, we're rolling hard today, LJ Day. <laughs> What's up, man? Good to see you alive yeah, good out to here, see bro. You too. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's the thing. You have to, you have to time it because I launched, I launched yesterday and it was the same thing. Oh, uh, 68? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what happened here? What happened? Crazy, it, oh yeah, you gotta wait for the lulls in between sets. That's the key, you know. Yeah. Just, just be patient. You want a YouTube channel, my man? Right on. Yeah. But what's your first name? Damon. Damon. Nice yeah. to meet you, Damon. Mikey. Yeah, I see you go out and solo skip out of freaking uh, Bishop Bay all the time to come over here. Oh, oh, yeah. And then, well, now, you know, it, it all depends on what's going on with the tides and how much, because with the trailer and all the weekends and everything like that. But I'm going to launch today out of here. But yeah, you got to wait for it. That's why. Dang. Damon just flipped. That's a bummer. At least he had his stuff leashed. Yeah, it looks like it. Dang. I was just talking with Damon at the launch and Glenn about the surf. And then next thing you know, he flipped. Get his hat here. Anchor got buried. I don't know if he broke a rod. Dang. Scored. Part of an anchor trolley. Yeah, yeah no, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Flipping everything. Oh, Dang, you, you should have bailed me. out when you started. I was, I was surprised you kept going. You could have bailed out halfway through when you were. I see you, that big one. Like, oh. I know, that's the one <laughs> I saw that there was one like kind of medium and then that big <laughs> one, but at, at that point you were too late. You were already <laughs> going for it, you know? But. Oh. Dang. We're, it didn't wait long. You gotta be more patient. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a little I bit longer. Was good. I, I, I got a green wing. I came through there. I said, "Oh, okay, no problem." David, are you missing anything? Oh, uh, just a rod. Just a rod? It, it's a big rod. I ain't worried about it. That sucks a little bit. Dang. See, Kevin's all. I thought he had a window, but it's a. Uh, there's waves out there. So when I picked up your hat, it was sucking hard down to the south. It's a bait rock. It probably broke too. This one of them all got a rock. Well, I don't want you if you want to just come out the There he goes. There's his window. 
Get it! Go, go, go! You got it! Yeah, there, see? Nicely done. That's how you want to do it. Nicely done! See, Damon, that's how you want to time it right there! <laughs> getting ready to launch here showtime at the launch and it is 9 a.m here wednesday april 6 2022 and we're checking out alec launching the hobie i was just talking with him he's gonna go fish for some calicos maybe the yellowtail pop up but that's the thing with today fog rolled in so it's gonna be hard to spot those birds and the yellowtail so maybe i'll have to adapt my fishing go with the yo-yo iron or make some live bait but Sand dog lens out there with somebody. Kevin uh, Nakata, Sea Samurai, is out there as well. I'm gonna go ahead and launch the solo skiff. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe, pound that like, show love and support. Thank you for all love and support. I'm living the dream. It's another beautiful day here in San Diego, La Jolla. He's, he's timing it good. There's pro move, good job. That's a good launch right there. Oh, he dropped something. Did he? Dang. Something happened. Oh, his rudder. Oh, and his sandals. I think his sandals started floating away. It's looking like it's doable. See, this is a lull that I want to go in right now. radio out when I turn on my bait tank. Mm. 
go to, I think, 72. Let's see. Glenn Sandog, you got a copy on 72? Glenn Sandog, pick me up. You on 68, it's Mikey. Nope. Not good. Watch what happens when I power on my Garmin. Let's see, go to my combo two. And oh, it's not there. So let's check the sonar. Oh, transducer is disconnected. Power down and check. This is devastating. I already played around with these cords back here. <laughs> yep. Ah. That will do it. So I definitely need to be taking this off or putting dielectric grease. For now. Wow, already frying it, only a couple weeks old. Better than that. Well, I'm gonna be putting a bunch of grease on those connections, cleaning those connections off. Good thing I saw it, I guess, now. Oh, man. Yeah, yes. That worked. I don't like that sound, making a clicking sound. There it goes, stopped and now it's doing. <sighs> so my little trick for seeing the reserve line doesn't work on a day like this. Yeah. See? Oh man. But I know I'm out here now. I'm gonna turn off my fish finder because I'm having issues. I don't want to blow it at the fuse. We're gonna go ahead and do this. Turn this off. I guess I'm gonna leave it plugged in for now. Turn it off though. I don't have that long today to fish anyways. I got a job later on. And then clean it when I get home. I don't want to have to pay for another warranty, it'd be another hundred bucks. So I'll fix that up. But I know I'm in the, and I'll use my Navionics. I'll get my phone out. Like I was saying before, it kind of sucks that I can't see birds in the distance with all this fog. Hopefully it burns off. But I'm gonna use my phone to gauge. Okay, so I gotta be out by San Diego State at 12 noon. 12 noon to three. So I'm just gonna troll right now, say what's up to everybody. Troll around using these contour lines on Navionics, check it out here. So, we're at 65 foot now. So I'm gonna cruise this area here. Look for all the other kayakers. See if we can find the OG legend. That's who I'm trying to meet up with today is Mr. Matt Rabosco. Matt is a legend of the Kyle La Jolla kayak fishing. I known him 
I met him at 2015, 2015 when I caught my first white sea bass out here right before Christmas time. I was dropping on rock fishing on lobster pots, dropping whole dead squid. And he ended up pulling up a big 50 pound white sea bass. He said, go drop on that one. After I took a photo with him and his sea bass, dropped down, got broke off, tied on another dropper loop. Boom, 50 pound white sea bass, Christmas dinner, rack of white sea bass. I am gonna go ahead and grab my Nomad and start trolling. Looks like we got Kevin Nakata right there. Is that Kevin or is that Glenn? Oh yeah, it's Glenn. He's waving. Let's see what the deal is. Check out, see what's good with Glenn. I ran into him quick. I he's trying to make bait. You make any bait? No, no, I just got out. Uh, I was lagging and then I go to and I start turning on my fish finder. Oh, I saw it reading the transducer. Oh no. I I pull it off of the back and already on the pin so they have the plugs here, uh -huh. but then this whole thing clips in and I've already corroded it started corrosion on those pins. So uh -huh. I turned it on, I cleaned it a little bit by hand, and then I turned it on and it started working, but it's making this clicking noise. So then I was like, oh that's not good. And then it started saying that it's not reading again, so I just turned it off. I'm gonna clean it more when I get home. I just, it, that was like two weeks ago or a week. You know what I have? I have some dielectric reading. I know, I, I put it on really good on these two. Dude, I have so much bait right now below me, and I can't catch these. Right really? Yep. What uh, size sabiki are you, but is it, where? what depth is the bait at? Like 25, 30 feet. I feel like I'm getting, no, I, I, I feel like I'm getting nibbled. Are you, do you feel bites on your line? Yeah, cause it could be, uh, Sardines usually, or anchovies, you know, they won't bite it. <laughs> Later, bros, nice meeting you. All right, that's it, that's all. Laughing with those guys. Make our way back in through the fog. I didn't really fish today. All right, gonna use my Navionics here to make my way back since my fish finder's not really working. Looks like we need to head this way. Man, the fog is just thick, 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 but I'm gonna use my Navionics to navigate back. Thank you for watching. Mikey here, SD Fish and Sips. You. I know the shoreline is straight ahead this way, but I don't know what part. If we're at the ramp area, so I'm gonna get in a little bit closer. I see some kayakers right here. So they're launching from the, I see them right here coming out the, put away my bag and we'll get our way in. All those people surfing. I need to go a little bit down to the south. These are all the surfers. Okay, I just used my Google Maps to confirm that the landing is right over here. Wake my way through the surf. Call it good. Tricky conditions today.